This question asks for the effective interest rate, or the effective annual rate, sometimes called the APY, or the annual percentage yield. What the annual percentage yield, or the effective interest rate, is, is the simple interest rate that would yield the same kind of growth as this compound interest rate. So we have an account that offers 6% compounded monthly, and compound interest tends to grow faster than simple interest. So what interest rate, what simple interest rate, would give the same kind of growth as this account, and that interest rate is the effective interest rate, the annual percentage yield. So what we need to do is find how much this account will grow, and then calculate what simple interest rate would lead to that same growth. To do this, we just pick some arbitrary amount of money. So I'll pick $1,000, just to be simple but we can use any amount of money that we want. And we'll calculate out one year and figure out how much has this account grown. So we use the compound interest formula, where for P we're gonna use $1,000. The interest rate is given, we're told that it's compounded monthly, so N is 12, and I'm gonna let T be one. So at the end of one year, if I put $1,000 into this account, I can figure out how much this account will hold at the end of the year. A thousand times in parentheses one plus point zero six divided by twelve raised to the power of twelve times one or just twelve. So at the end of the year the account holds one thousand sixty one dollars and sixty eight cents. So the goal now is to find what simple interest rate if I use the simple interest formula, F equals P times one plus RT, what interest rate here would lead to the same amount of growth? In other words, if I deposited $1,000 in this simple interest account, what interest rate would I need in order to have $1,061.68 at the end of the year? So setting up that problem, if I deposit $1,000 today, and it grows to 1,061 and 68 cents, I want to solve for what interest rate that account has. So if I'm solving for R, I need to divide both sides by 1,000, and then I'll have this in parentheses, one plus R, and 1,061 and 68 cents divided by 1,000 is 1 1.0617. So to solve for R, I subtract one from both sides and find that 0 0.06168 equals R. So the simple interest rate that gives the same amount of growth as this compound interest rate in the account that we have is 6.17%. And that is the effective annual yield or the annual percentage yield. There's lots of different names for this, but the idea of the effective interest rate, once more, is it's the simple interest rate that gives the same amount of growth as this compound interest rate in the account that we have.